Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, I'm Assemblyman James Gallagher, uh, the Assembly Republican leader. And it's budget time, you know, here in California. And uh, it's around this time that we hear a lot from the Democrats about how much money has been allocated towards uh, different things. Uh, but we're here to ask a simple question today. Where did the money go? Uh, I think it's a very important question because we, as I said, we often hear about how much money has been budgeted, but does the money actually get down and to the think to the purposes that it was allocated for and is it being effectively used uh, whenever we talk about a new budget we should be asking what happened with the money we already budgeted last year and so that is what we are going to be talking about in this uh, press conference this morning and i think one of the big uh, areas that we need to ask this question is in the area of homelessness we all experience the consequences of state missteps in allocating funding that may be well in, well intended but ends up hurting more in the end. For example, I want to remind everyone that over the past three years, we've spent $17 billion on homelessness, which is more than $80,000 per homeless person. Yet, between 2019 and 2020, California actually increased its homeless population by 7%. In every city throughout this state, we see it. The problem has gotten worse, not better. Our state has counted nearly 162,000 homeless individuals, making up 29% of the homeless population of the entire country. Homeless encampments in our parks, near our rivers, contribute to massive amounts of garbage, needles, human waste, and fires. The devastation is seen everywhere. But $17 billion is spent, and they'll continue to say, we're spending all this money on homelessness. Where did the money go? Here in Sacramento, uh, we have people who are saying they're going to clean up the American River Parkway. Well, why did the American River Parkway get the way that it is today? It's because of an enablement policy that has allowed that devastation, that has allowed those encampments to grow, that has not helped people who are homeless but has rather left them in that devastation and then destroyed this beautiful scenic parkway that we have here in Sacramento. Add to that that just this week, news broke that the city of Sacramento spent $617,000 on a homeless shelter that never got built. You could call it the shelter that never was. 70% of homeless people do not have a shelter bed, the highest in the nation but 17 billion dollars has been allocated where did the money go these are some simple questions we're going to be asking this morning as republicans our plan is that we make sure that our money actually gets where it's supposed to go that we actually measure its effectiveness let's audit these homeless programs and see what's working and what's not and let's make sure that the taxpayer dollars are spent in the most effective way policy possible and that is what uh, we as republicans are going to continue to do and so Next up uh, this morning, I want to introduce my colleague, uh, Assemblymember Suzette Valladares. Thank you. I am here this morning as a legislator, but more importantly, as a mom and a childcare provider. And I am deeply concerned about the Newsom administration's failure to adequately oversee vital programs that are critical for maintaining the security of our most vulnerable. I was horrified when I read the results of a recent report released by the California State Auditor regarding the Child Abuse Central Index, which, was been, which has been used for decades as a tool for state and local agencies to help protect the health and safety of California's children. As a child care employer myself, I used and relied on the accuracy of this program background checks to ensure that I was making safe hires to ultimately protect children. The database is supposed to be the first line of defense for hiring child care employees and ensuring that they do not have a criminal background involving children. The report found that almost half of substantiated child abuse cases were missing from the database, half. The auditor found that at least 22,000 individuals with a history of child abuse are missing from the database. This is horrific. As a mom of a five-year-old, knowing that potentially 
over 22,000 people have not been reported? I have no words to, exgest, to express just how unacceptable and dangerous this is. Omitting 22,000 people from a database puts infants, babies, children at risk of physical or mental trauma and even life or death. This negligence cannot be tolerated and cannot continue. And this defective database is failing children and families. It is a state's job to ensure the safety of our children and the taxpayers who funded this database demand better. Based on the audit, we are demanding transparency on how the taxpayers' money are being spent to maintain the database. And we demand immediate action from the administration to correct these errors, and to streamline the process immediately and ensure that our children are safe. The state has a long history of issues with establishing and maintaining sensitive information databases. We do not need to look further than the state's financial information system for California or fiscal, fiscal. This system was first created in 2007 and billions of dollars and a decade and a half later, the project is still not complete. The numerous bills going through the legislature this year calling for completion date to this disastrous project underscores the continued inability of the state to effectively produce quality databases. Californians divert, deserve more transparency, more accountability on how their tax dollars are spent. California deserves better and we are asking, where did the taxpayers' money go? Thank you, Assembly Member. And uh, next, we have uh, my colleague in the in the Assembly Member in, in the Assembly, and who's worked on a lot of wildfire issues with uh, with me and, and our group, uh, Assembly Member Devin Mathis. Thank you, Leader Gallagher. Good morning. I'm here today to discuss how and why our state is still burning to the ground because of government inaction during the 2020 fire season an estimated 4.2 million acres burnt to the ground. And this record of devastation just continues. To put this into perspective, this is nearly the size of the state of New Jersey that burnt, that we lost. And just last year, California experienced four of the 20 largest wildfires in history. So we have to ask, where have our tax dollars gone? Because we continue to see the governor and Democrats do these huge headlines. We spent record amount of money on wildfires, record amount of spending, your money. But yet we have record numbers of wildfires. This is a shame. This is not a success that they tout because the data, it comes through. They, they say they've done all this, but reality, it's only been 12,000 acres, only 12,000 that's actually been treated. This is a drop in the wildfire prevention bucket of work that's actually been done when the state has already put fewer dollars towards the prevention. Wildfire prevention just doesn't seem to be the priority by Governor Newsom or Capitol Democrats. And the dwindling budget and the delays in the funding, these allocations show this year over year over year. They say they do the money and then they cut it back. In 2020, the governor slashed wildfire prevention and resource management budget by 40% from the previous year. So he said he did more and then he cut it behind your backs. In 2021, the legislator managed to pass a substantial amount of wildfire funding prevention to the tune of about $1.5 billion. It took the Democrats over three months to approve the funding. Three months. We passed the budget. We said we wanted it. And they screwed around with it and didn't get it done for three months. So the funding didn't end up being allocated to the appropriate programs until the middle of wildfire season. 
it was too late. And people's homes burnt to the ground because of government inaction. This brings us to this year, where we see the governor once again proposing to slash the budget by another 40%, as he hopes to cut the funding from the $1.5 billion that he was supposed to do down to only $6 million. If our fire season runs through the summer months and the money doesn't get allocated until later and spent in the middle of fall, which is the middle of fire season, it's too little too late yet again. This government lack of moving the ball. Is this is folks, this is government malpractice. We know wildfire season is coming. We know when it's gonna come. We know we have an approved budget. We have another proposed budget. But we have to act. The governor needs to act. Folks, our wildfire season runs through the summer months, into the fall, and into the beginning of winter. Coming up next week, we have the budget. We have to act. What this budget says is that this funding will be in a later proposed bill, how it's gonna be allocated. What happens here is we say we're gonna put the money in right now in June, and then they toy around with it and they put it in what's called a budget trailer bill that later gets approved in August. Needs to get approved now. So as we look at this, where did the money go? Where did it go in the past? Where is it going today? Because that's money out of your pockets, out of your gas tanks. That's money to feed your kids. It's money that's supposed to protect you from wildfires. It's supposed to protect you from it raining ashes on your families. This money needs to get moved. It needs to be responsible. It needs to be clear and transparent. And it needs to get done. This year, what are the Democrats going to do? Are they going to pull the wool over our eyes yet again? We need action, not headlines. Thank you. Thank you, Assemblymember Mathis. And uh, just to add to, you know, what he was saying is, you know, wildfire prevention has been very close to my heart. You know, I represent the town of Paradise that uh, was devastated by the campfire. Um, and literally last year, we had to almost shame the Democrats into doing the over a billion dollars worth of fire prevention. Uh, at one point last year in our budget struggles, you know, our, our debates, um, the governor proposed to put some money in the budget, but to leave it to his total discretion as to whether or not that money uh, would get spent. That was not okay. We ensured that continuous appropriation, five years of insured funding would go into wildfire prevention. That was be in part because of the push of Republicans uh, last year in the budget. But what we're saying is the, the money's there, but is it actually getting spent? We still have yet to see any transparency out of the governor's office and the administration about how many acres have actually been treated. How many acres have, have seen prescribed fire? How many acres have seen thinning? They won't tell us. We hold hearings and they, and they say, well, we're working on that, we're gonna get that to you. It's not acceptable. And until, until we know the transparency about what is going on with this money, until we know what performance metrics we're getting out of this, you know, we need to know those things now. We need to know those things now. We, need to, we are the legislature and we are the ones that are making decisions about how to allocate funds. We need to know how things are actually working and lives are at stake. We're just starting wildfire season once again. Looks like it could be another very devastating wildfire season. What are we doing? What have we done with record money to actually make ourselves more prepared? The answer from the governor's office is we don't know. That's not acceptable. Uh, so next up, I'd like to in invite up another one of my colleagues um, who is going to talk about uh, the EDD, uh, Assemblymember Dr. Stephen Choi. Thank you, Leader. Good morning, Stephen Choi, Assemblymember uh, from Orange County. 
Thank you for joining us uh, this morning, uh, uh, holding our uh, state uh, government uh, accountable and uh, asking, where did your m money go? When uh, looking at uh, last year's uh, budget was uh, spent, in total, California received uh, more than $71 billion relief money uh, to address a record unemployment due to COVID. But the bureaucrats uh, failed to pay the uh, legitimate uh, Californian, Californians uh, their uh, unemployment uh, EDD uh, claims. Can you believe that uh, more than $20 billion of taxpayers' uh, dollars were paid to fraudulent claims? The worst part, uh, though, was that uh, the state paid over $800 million to criminals uh, in prison because the uh, EDD didn't audit uh, their system against the uh, prison population data. While uh, prison inmates were being paid hundreds of millions of dollars uh, in fraudulent uh, EDD, EDD claims uh, struggling uh, unemployed Californians uh, had to wait uh, several months before even receiving their first check. People who simply needed uh, an interview to verify eligibility had to wait up to six months for that uh, phone interview. Anyone uh, with a simple question found it uh, almost uh, impossible to speak to human at the EDD. Our local office the phone lines were ringing off the hook. And still, uh, EDD uh, has not uh, taken adequate uh, steps uh, to address uh, these uh, deficits, uh, deficiencies. California is the uh, cradle of the uh, tech industry, but the state government uh, has uh, fallen far behind in replacing outdated computer systems, uh, making our uh, taxpayer dollars uh, susceptible to fraud in the future. Where is uh, our over $100 billion of uh, surplus in the budget? While the EDD uh, fraud uh, has cost the uh, state a, uh, a su substantial amount of um, money, time, and the resources, uh, it has uh, further cost uh, Californians uh, their trust uh, in their government uh, to spend their tax dollars wisely. We are calling on the uh, Newsom administration to ensure that uh, whatever failure has occurred at the ADD uh, in the past uh, will not be repeated so we can uh, protect the precious uh, taxpayers' uh, dollars from the waste, fraud, and an abuse. Thank you. All right, thank you, Dr. Choi, and uh, thank you all for being here with us. And I think the bottom line is this. Here in California, we continue to pay the most to get the least in results. Uh, we, we have the highest gas taxes in the nation. We drive over the worst roads. We just passed a tax in 2017 that's supposed to help build more housing and, and get more homeless people into housing. And the problem's only gotten worse since then. $17 billion has been spent. The problem's gotten worse. Uh, wildfires continue to devastate our, st devastate our state. We had record funding, but we still have record fires. This is unacceptable. Where did the money go? That is a question that must be answered uh, by Capitol Democrats and this governor. Thank you. I'm happy to answer any, any questions that people may have. Okay. All right. Seeing none, uh, we will uh, adjourn this conference and thank you all for being here this morning.